Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll show you how to install Prometheus on CentOS RHEL or Amazon Linux operating systems. It's, so let me first quickly walk you through the commands uh, which would be executing on the operating system. First, uh, we are adding the users and groups, Prometheus user and group inside the OS. Then we are creating the data directory for the Prometheus software. Okay. Followed by that, we are creating a ETC Prometheus directory where the Prometheus software would be kept, right? On and its configuration files will be stored. Okay. Then we are downloading the Prometheus software and this will download the latest version. Okay. Then we are untarring it and copying the files uh, after what we are untar. Okay. To user bin local and some files will go to ETC Prometheus. Okay. Once that is done, we would be uh, creating a service file which will start Prometheus. Okay. And after that, we are setting the necessary permission for the Prometheus user and group on the directories which we have created. And finally, we'll start the service. Okay. We'll make sure that the service gets online when we boot the uh, session. Okay. And uh, once I, all these things are done, we'll see that the Prometheus is running up. Okay. So let's uh, get started. Okay, so what I've done already is on Google Cloud, I've created a CentOS 8 virtual machine. You can use any type of virtual machine or any cloud provider. Okay, I'll log into this virtual machine first. Elevate my privileges. Next, we are running the commands okay, line by line. Downloading the Prometheus also now. The wget.com means wget needs to be installed. Let's quickly install that. Let's download the software again. I get to download. It is downloaded. We'll extract the files. We'll also move the files to necessary directories. Now let's create the service file. Okay, let's give the necessary permissions. Okay, let's uh, reload the system even now. And then we decide to start Prometheus. And we'll see that should run when it is when the system is rebooted automatically. Okay, and let's check the status. And we can see the Prometheus is up and running. Now you can access the Prometheus web console by going to this IP address and hitting port 9090. Okay. You need to make sure that you have the necessary ports open on your firewall. In, in this scenario, it is Google Cloud VPC firewall that port 9090 needs to be allowed. I've done that already. That's why we can see the web console up over here. Okay. So yeah, this is it for this video. Thank you for watching.